Okay, so picture this. You're all set, ready to interview at UBS. UBS. Yeah, one of the big dogs in finance, right? Right. You're feeling pretty good. You've got your best suit ready, resume polished. Yeah. And then, bam, you stumble on that glass door review. The oh. kind that makes you kind of want to shred everything and just run for the hills, you know? I've been there. We've all been there. So that's what we're diving into today, a brutal glass door review about UBS. Oh, boy. But, and this is key, we're focusing on what it says about contractor experiences. Right, interesting. Because let's be real, that full-time dream, sometimes contract work is the stepping stone, right? Absolutely. A lot of people start that way. So this review, it's from April 2024. And what struck me wasn't just the complaints, but the raw emotion. Yeah, how so? Words like micromanagement, which, okay, we've all maybe dealt with. Right. But then it gets intense, chaotic, even scapegoats, that kind of language. Whoa. So before we even get into specifics, that tells me there's a lot of uh, feeling behind this, you know? Yeah, definitely makes you wonder what went down. Exactly. So you're the expert. What's your take just from that initial vibe? Well, it's just one review, right? we got to remember that. Of course, of course. But it's like a, hmm, a crack in the facade. You know, oh, I like that. It suggests there might be something more systemic going on, at least for contractors at UBS. Ooh, systemic. Okay, so let's unpack that. What did this contractor actually say? All right, let's get into it. Lay that on us. So, this person was an initiative manager, whatever that means. Fancy. Right. But their complaints, they're sadly familiar. Micromanagement, obviously. Check. But the hours, insane. We're talking 11 p.m. calls, weekend work. The whole shebang. Yeah, the review actually said, made to work outside working hours twice a week, sometimes had calls at 11 p.m. and weekends. I mean, come on, that's brutal. It is rough. Yeah. And the real kicker is they felt like contractors were almost set up to fail. What do you mean? Like they got way less support, training, even just basic info compared to the permanent staff. Oh, that old two-tiered system. Exactly. So is this just UBS? Mm -hmm. Honestly, not really. This sadly is a trend across the whole financial sector really it's high pressure high stakes and contractors they're seen as well expendable sometimes it's harsh it is but it's the reality they're flexible often cheaper and if things go south easier to let go no messy hr stuff so it's almost like this unspoken thing contractors are on the outside looking in even if they're crucial to the project 100 percent. and look i get it businesses they're all about the bottom line profit 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 right but there's a human side here, too. Ethical treatment, clear communication, that's got to be there whether you're full-time or contract. Because otherwise, resentment builds, people burn out, it's bad for everyone. Precisely. Now, this reviewer, they actually called for contractors to have a voice and be protected against any type of abuse. And that's the million-dollar question, right? Like, can they do anything? Is there actual legal protection when you're a contractor? That's the tricky part. Because contract work it exists kind of outside the usual employer employee box. Ah, I see. So legally, it gets murky, which is why it's so crucial for anyone considering contract work. Listen up. Okay, everyone listening, ears open. Your contract, it's not just a formality. Negotiate it like your life depends on it. Because in a way, it does. Ooh, dramatic. I love it. But true. Get everything in writing. Expectations, payment terms how to end the contract, everything. Basically protect yourself. Exactly. Know your rights. And there are organizations out there specifically for gig workers that offer legal advice and support. That's super helpful to know, actually. So stepping back from the nitty gritty, this one glass door review, it's like a rabbit hole into a much bigger issue, right? Well, totally. It's about workplace culture, especially in these high demand fields like finance. Where everyone's chasing the big bucks and maybe forgetting about the human costs sometimes. It's easy to get caught up in that. So for anyone listening, whether you're team contract or team full time. Team awesome job. That's my team. Exactly. Do your homework. Don't just rely on the company website or what you hear in the interview. Oh, good point. Dig deeper. Look for patterns in reviews. Talk to people who've actually worked there if you can. Get the inside scoop. Yes. Because a job, it's more than just a paycheck at the end of the day, right? Preach. It's about finding a place that values you, your skills, your time, whether you're the CEO or a contractor, just starting out. Boom. Mic drop moment right there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, that's something for everyone to think about, regardless of where you are in your career.